We begin with some developing news. Hamas says it has released two American hostages for what it calls humanitarian reasons. The mother and daughter were among around 200 captives abducted by Hamas during its terror attacks in Israel on October 7th. The Israeli Prime Minister's office says the freed hostages are being taken to a military base. They've been named as Judith and Natalie Ranan. And we can now bring in journalist Sami Sokol. He joins us from Jerusalem. Uh, Sami, what more can you tell us about the hostages who've been released? Yeah, well, uh, Judy and uh, her daughter Natalie, they're from uh, a suburb outside uh, Chicago. And they were visiting family in uh, Nahaloz, uh, which is uh, adjacent to the uh, Gaza Strip. They have uh, relatives in, in that area and they were abducted by uh, Hamas. Um, what we know is that uh, probably uh, Judith has some uh, medical uh, issue, and uh, Hamas, they say that they released uh, the two of them for humanitarian uh, reasons. Uh, the two of them have crossed, uh, to the, uh, crossed the border into Israel. Um, they have been taken to a military base, and from there... Uh, they're going to be taken uh, to a military location inside Israel where they're going to meet their relatives uh, this evening. There's going to be a meeting between the two and their relatives. And uh, this was also uh, released from the Israeli uh, prime minister's uh, office. And what do we know about the welfare of the hostages who are still being held by Hamas? Israel says most of them are alive. Uh, well, we don't know much. Uh, we know that they're held both by Hamas and also the Islamic Jihad at the time said that they're holding some uh, 30 hostages. Uh, we know that there's one video that was uh, released of a, a, a young uh, a, a woman that is uh, held the hostage in, in Gaza and that was released during the week. So, so Hamas has been trying to show that they are uh, capable of uh, uh, taking care of these uh, hostages. Uh, but also they're giving out the message that if Israel is continuing uh, with, their, with bombing the Gaza Strip, uh, they're putting them in, uh, in danger. Uh, we know that uh, Qatar is involved in, in these uh, talks, and they're uh, the ones who are, have been most active in the uh, channel to uh, release uh, those uh, held captive in the Gaza Strip. Yeah, Qatar, of course, with um, very strong ties to Hamas. What is the Israeli government's outlook on securing the release of the rest of the hostages, 200 of them at least? Can they bring them back without some kind of a deal with Hamas? Yeah, well, the, the prime minister's office today released a statement and, and they said that the government is prioritizing the release of those uh, has, uh, held the hostage in the uh, Gaza Strip. At the same time, they say they want to wage a, a military ground campaign inside the Gaza Strip. Uh, today, we've heard assessments that this campaign is going to last for months, uh, many months. Uh, this means that those who are held inside the Gaza Strip could be in, in danger. And uh, for sure, uh, there is a, uh, a, a problem here, because on, on the one hand, the government is saying that they want to release them. Uh, on the other hand, they're saying that they want to exterminate Hamas. Uh, they want to eradicate Hamas. They want to destroy the military capabilities of Hamas. And they want to uh, launch a ground offensive against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Now, how will the Israeli government be able to both release prisoners and wage this campaign? This is the big question. That's the big question indeed. That was journalist Sami Sokol in Jerusalem. Thanks.